now a thermodynamic steam trap. Now initially this is the inlet, this is a strainer. So this inlet orifice it moves to the disc and this is the outlet orifice and this is the outlet port. So the steam condensate enters from this port, travels to this orifice and again exits to this port. Now let us consider the steam condensate enters through this port passing through the strainer it enters the inlet orifice. When there is sufficient condensate it exerts some pressure on the disc and lifts it up. When this disc is lifted the condensate from this inlet orifice moves to the outer orifice and then exits through the outer port. When all the condensate is discharged to the outlet port, then the steam will begin to pass through this inlet orifice to outlet orifice and will try to exit from this outlet port. But the speed of steam is far more than the condensate. So Going by the Bernoulli's principle, whenever there is increase in velocity, there will be a sudden drop in pressure. And because of the difference in pressure, this disc again moves back to its original position, thus closing the port, uh, closing the connection between the inlet and the outlet orifice. So it prevents this steam from escaping the steam trap and only allows the condensate to move from inlet orifice to the outlet orifice. This is a thermodynamic steam trap. This one is also a thermodynamic steam trap.